Hey guys, in this video, we'll look at Android 12.1 on a Mi 11X, that's the choice right here, also known as the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 in other regions. So this is CR Droid version 8.3, it is based upon Android 12.1, it is rebased on Android 12.1, so in this video we'll see what all this ROM has, my experience using it as I've been using it for a couple of days, and finally some benchmarks. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is, actually this is not what the home screen looks like. I flashed the Pixel Launcher mod on it, that's why it has the Pixel Launcher. If you install the Pixel Launcher from the Play Store, it will look horrible. It will look like those days when we had that Pixel Launcher on Pixel 3 or 3XL. That does not look good. I'll leave a link of that Pixel Launcher mod in the description below as well. Go ahead and flash that. It's a very good module, but you need to have Magisk. If you don't know how to flash Magisk, there's a card right, right here. And a link of it will be in the description below. So let's just first go and see what the changelog has to offer. So for that, we'll just go to settings, system settings, updater. So yeah, this has an inbuilt OT updater and updates work seamlessly. They are not as fast as let's say your Pixel devices or your Samsung devices, but they are quite fast. Anyways, this is Android 8.3. Um, let's just go and tap on changelog, see changelog. So it was the first build. So let's see. Okay, so it's an initial Android 12L or they as they call it Android 12.1 release, updated to CR Droid 8.3 code, updated to security patch level, March security patch, kernel upstreamed, etc. Vendor patch, blobs, uh, rework physical location from side FPS, etc. and etc. So this is all regarding performance, and the performance has been great on this device. I'll speak about the performance in the later part of the video. So Again, we had an update where we had updated blobs, vendor security patch to Feb 1st. Then we updated USB HAL, fixed enable or disable USB signaling. I did not use that. Added some extra status bar padding. This was important because the clock was cutting. I don't know why. And then remove Google Games dashboard. I did not use that, so I can't tell about that. Then fix QS button height. So yeah, this was an issue and it has fixed. There is one more issue that I've noticed, I'll speak about it later on. Then updated translation and some fixes. So let's just dive into settings and see what all this ROM has to offer. So as I told you, this, uh, this supports OT update. So you can just go to system, updater, not this one, updater, tap on refresh. And if there are updates, it will show here, just download it and update it. It takes around an hour, but your daily function won't get affected. So it updates in the background it installs it you just have to reboot that's it and during that time you can do anything you want to do if you're playing a game you can play the game anyways if i just shuffle and drop everything is similar display so as you know peak refresh rate and minimum refresh rate so at the starting it was set to 60 i set it to 120 because why not I bought a phone with a 120 hertz display. I should use that 120 hertz display. Anyways, um, rest all is the same. Now they have CR Droid settings, open goodness. So this has all the status bar settings. There are a lot of settings. By default, there was no Volti icon. As you can see right here, I enabled it because it looked cool. Similar for uh, VO Wi-Fi icon. I have not enabled VO Wi-Fi. That's why it's not appearing right here. Then VO Wi-Fi override indicator colored icons now i like this thing a lot because you have gray grayscale icons in every asp rom out there with this you have colored notification icons then your notification count if let's say your whatsapp has two notification you will get a where's that whatsapp you will get a badge two right here but if you enable that setting you will get that two badge on your status bar as well that looks that looks cool battery customization and gestures not a lot double tap three double tap to sleep brightness control so i can control the brightness right here anyways speaking of brightness they have that auto brightness toggle right here so you can use that too i like that a lot quick pull down smart pull down then they have quick settings a lot of settings right here then they have lock screen settings media cover art so this is old school if you're playing a media your lock screen wallpaper will be that media background or media cover art or your album art so yeah there's that small clock tap to sleep vib vibration authentication so if you tap your fingerprint sensor and 
there's an error or if you tap it and it's correct you will get vibration you can turn that off similar for ripple effect i do not like that ripple effect that it starts unlocking from here i just like it just unlocks i do not want any animations then your navigation bar settings what all your back long press home long press etc can do but this is only when you have three button navigation enabled then you have buttons control playback reorient answer call wake device long press for touch this is useful i can turn this off and then my touch is right here anyways let's just turn this off and yeah then your user interface settings ambient display uh let's just turn on ambient display now you see the bug right if you can't see the bug you have a problem so you have a clock right here but you also have a clock right here so weird right now that's a bug right there there's one more bug i'll just get to it now bit anyways they have ambient light and they have edge lighting too so if you get a notification when your ambient light is turned on you will get your edge lighting which i showcased in my last the bliss rooms video so there's that so you have music you are you are music ticker so if you are in your ambient display if you are playing some music your music will display on your ambient display the uh, the title of the song so that's pretty awesome too anyways nav bar style money settings it has money customization you can use a custom color and all also um your wifi icon shape icon style icon shape so wifi icon style let's you sneaky so as you can see my icon changed then your signal icon style uh let's do round okay this happens every time but as you can see my wifi icon shape is changed to something else and my signal icon is something else pretty cool icon shape let's select flower and go so everything is of a flower shape uh let's go back that's all it has notification if you want to customize your notification settings sound settings pulse volume steps volume panel on the left as you can see it was an issue on my earlier on the previous rom that i reviewed that's bliss roms so it's fixed right here so that's also cool where button connect call waiting etc miscellaneous game space unlock high fps unlock photo storage so it has unlimited google photo storage and 90 fps on pubg and swipe to screenshot i like this one and then about here speaking of gaming it supports 90 fps on pubg or bgmi the device got hot to touch when i played pubg continuously i believe it was for 45 minutes i believe 45 minutes so it got hot with a single session it did it get it got quite warm but not hot but with multiple sessions it will get hot so keep in mind the next setting was unlimited google photo storage i did not install google photos but if you install google photos let's go to photos and install it right here i'll take a couple of seconds i'll okay it's installed quickly um allow it says you get unlimited free photo st uh, free storage for full resolution photos and videos uploaded from a pixel device that's pretty great right there so demo it too anyways um speaking of benchmarks the last thing so let's just go to gallery where's gallery uh there it was here somewhere okay um because of that icon shape it's quite hard for me to gather anyways for geekbench i got a single core score of 985 and a multi core score of 3290 um with anti2 i got a score of 6 lakhs 97352 and with cpu throttle this is the graph pretty good graph average performance of 217 474 gps minimum of 195000 and a maximum of 227000 uh, approximately 227.5000 so this that so yeah uh, yeah there was a bug that i wanted to mention so it has called recording it has google launcher uh, google dialer sorry it has google dialer and it has called recording but if i call someone and let's say the pick up i can't record that is one bug right there if you want recording install other mods there are other majestic mods modules for call recording use that other call dialers so there's that anyways this is 
what the ROM feels like my experience using it yeah as for battery I believe I got around six or six uh, six hours ten minutes with a full days of usage this is my secondary phone I do not have a lot of apps right here as you can see I only have media apps and OLX and gaming gaming just PUBG uh, for idle train I got an idle train of okay on the first day I got an idle train of I believe one percent overnight which was very good I mean one percent on an ESP device on any device is very good even my iOS device not this one even my iOS device drains like four percent overnight and every other ESP ROM that I tried drains six to seven percent overnight so one percent was pretty cool I thought I can test it again so that's why I waited for a day to come out for the review on the second day that's today I got an overnight drain of around three percent so that's also pretty good 3% overnight overnight I mean from 3 a.m. to 9 or 10 a.m. 3% pretty cool so yeah there there was it that was the ROM my experience using it some benchmarks the features etc so if you like the video go ahead and hit that like button comment for any queries regarding this ROM regarding any other ROM if you want me to try any other ROM let me know in the comments as well and since you're commenting Hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos that I post. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.